Hello and welcome to another Shadowverse Evolve unboxing today with volume 5 and yeah I know I'm a little bit behind with releases but I will try to catch up soon because by now I think we have already volume 9 so yeah quick look into the card gallery and we have some yeah for some reason probably it's very playable token card like the fairy is very expensive the prices are not 100 percent uh, accurate on on tcg republic they tend to be a little bit more uh yeah or higher than usual but yeah we have like this beautiful leader card of anne and korea that's a really cute cute artwork but so far i i wasn't lucky with uh leader pulls at all even if i have opened quite a few uh Oh, I've opened quite a few boxes. Uh, yeah, this UR is also like very rare. Uh, yeah, probably like one per case. But it's very, very cute. I, I really like this artwork. But yeah, there's also a leader card of Stebarus. I think she was in the in the first set I remember her pulling. And what else do we have? Yeah, there are a lot of beautiful artworks to be honest also like this very bad guy i don't know marvin this i don't know somehow it gives me like warhammer uh warhammer vibes like the nurgle i don't know maybe some people know them there are some some demons and they are usually very bad <laughs> they give me like yeah nurgle vibes but yeah let's let's jump into the box Where's my face again? There. So, yeah, I I would really like to to pull finally like my leader card, but I guess without without buying like multiple or like a case, chances are are really really low. I don't know if if there's like also the chance like in Vice Schwarz that people sell loose boxes from dead cases, maybe. Oh, this time we don't get a we don't get a promo card. We get like just these sleeves. Hmm. Oh no, I I rather would have like promo cards. And yeah, I think this is like the last. Is this the last release where they have sixteen, or maybe the next volume? At some point, they they reduced the numbers of packs, and also I think the numbers of big hits. There was a change at some point, but I don't don't remember at which point, but yeah. Next unboxing will be, of course, the volume six. So yeah, let's appreciate the artwork and we get like those bundle cards. Interesting. So the SR is in the middle. Yeah, what a sword. <laughs> This looks so weird. Very anime like like not very practical practical to have a sword like this. But yeah, the art the art as always is really nice. And like these <laughs> these things still remember me of the the Evangelion Angels. I don't know what's their name is in Shadowverse Evolve or like what's what is the law behind them, but they give me Evangelion vibes. More guys. And GR. Yeah, sometimes like the art is a little bit dark. I don't know, the the feeling for for Shadowverse Evolve, like they have a consistent design theme, I think, even if the the art is changing sometimes. But we are already getting duplicates in the lower rarities. This is weird. Sometimes they have like very anime like artworks, and sometimes they shift to a semi realistic. Oh, this is cool. What is this? Like a fish? A gun. The gun is very weird looking. 
That's... That's not true. Oh, I pull a leader card, but it's a guy. Man, they are so nice leader cards. And to be my first one, but it's this one. Is he expensive at all? I know sometimes the leader cards are cheaper. It's, it's not a sheep one, it's in the middle. I was really hoping to get like, uh, to get like Severus, but I think I have no right to complain. To pull like finally my first leader card. They are very thick. Very, very thick. And uh, the edge is a little bit damaged. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's sad, but yeah, man, that was unexpected. And there are, in, in total, there are six different leaders you can possibly get. But I, I actually don't know if the, the leader card counts for, for a hit. Is he like, he placing a LG hit? So this is our first LG. That's the guy with the thwart. I'm trying to find some Egyptian symbols, but I don't think he has one. Like the necklace looks a little bit Egyptian, but it's not really. And the GR. Oh, and the LG evolved. So they still have like these, these double, these double hits per pack. But yeah, this one is super dark. Man, is this the, the guy's only box? I like all my all my big hits. Guys, I hope not. I think I I think I've got two boxes. Like usually I try to to buy one box for an unboxing video and the second box for a live stream. Oh, that's a nice one. Because I, I really enjoy enjoy the live streams. And yeah, I try to, to do them more often. Probably not like every month or every two months, but yeah. I, I rather do a live stream than open a box for myself or like record another unboxing. Because like, yeah, talking about our hobby or like card collecting in general or new releases or pulls. It's uh, nothing I can, can have in real life a lot. <laughs> so I really appreciate people who, who share their passion with me. And the same token again. So if I remember it right, there should be like six big hits. If the the leader card doesn't count for for one, maybe it's only five then. Another GR and a double G. Okay, double GR back to back. Sometimes they have like a little bit of theme punky elements. I think. Some artworks. Yeah, the art is so good. Of course, I would like to to open the English releases too. They are uh, they are catching up slowly with the uh, Japanese sets, but yeah, the the English boxes are more expensive. Okay, that's a nice one. That's really cool. Like a priestess? First thought was like an like an angel, but I don't think this is an angel. Because there are like no wings, but beautiful artworks, and this should be like half of the box. Some demons. Another GR. Oh, and another beautiful, 
artwork. I know that it's some in some release, I think I was at volume eight. There was like a Egyptian themed artwork. I, I saw it in an unboxing from another YouTuber. Oh, maybe this one? No. So at some point they, they have like some cards for my my special collection. Uh, just an SR and GR. Oh no, now we are getting like more and more duplicates, but another hit. It's an LG. Oh, what was her name? Was this like the character on the UR? Lishena? Yeah, she has like these, uh, these bunny looking ears. So this should be Lishena. And again, a double pack. Another LG. Another guy. <laughs> I think in the, yeah, from, from release 8, from release 8 or 7, they have a guaranteed SL, which is a one rarity above the LG, and they have like a special oil treatment. But at the same time, I think they have reduced the, the overall number of hits, which is not so nice. And of course, like the overall number of, of packs so in total like the boxes got more expensive okay another gr and the br and another angel <laughs> three packs left so there should be have i miscounted there should be two more hits one or two at least Maybe still a chance for like a, the UR, if I can be like super greedy, or at least maybe an NSL. Okay, and is this I, okay? Oh, I thought it's a duplicate, but this is nah, which one? Okay, this is the evolved. Yeah, as you can tell. Evolve. This is like the, the regular form. So yeah, not really not super lucky with the poles, I would say. So for me personally, like I think there were like a lot of artworks, a lot of characters I would have pulled rather than the ones that I got, but maybe there's a, a last pack magic with the with the Nurgle. Thing which would nah it's just an LG. That's again it's a cool one. With a lot of rings. Like a fallen angel. That's cool. So there are again six six hits per box. And yeah, of course, my first feel happy with my, my first lead account. That's a cool hit. Just the bummer with the with the edge damage. But yeah, let's end this video with another Force of Will pack as always. Looking for the secret rare of Anubis. So just go through the common cards. And oh, it's a sorcery stone of the undead. So yeah, thank you for watching and please check out my channel for more unboxing. Uh, if you like my content, uh, please subscribe and see you in my next unboxing. Bye.